There come out of this two basic results. The first is that when we don't resist pain, we don't set up a vicious circle in connection with it. Take the pain of fear again. Supposing you're in a situation where the doctor has told you you have to have an operation. And of course, if you're going to undergo this operation uh, in the best way, you need to be rested, you need to have plenty of sleep, you need to be strong, and so on. Well, fine advice, isn't it? Because the moment you know you've got to have an operation, you're liable to get a bit frightened. And then you know you ought not to be frightened. You ought not to stay awake at nights and worry about it. You need sleep. And then you get afraid, you see, because you're afraid. You're afraid that your fear is going to lead to insomnia and uh, debility. And so you are afraid of being afraid. And then because you see that you are afraid of being afraid, you are afraid because you are afraid because you are afraid. So that worry is always a vicious circle in which you are worrying because you worry because you worry because you worry. Because you worry.